It's time for laughs. It's time for fun. It's time to learn for everyone at Nana's Cooking Craft Corner. Hello, and welcome back to Nana's Cooking Craft Corner. In this video, we are going to do this, I call it cast iron pan shepherd's pie. Uh, let's get started. Okay, I got the hamburger browning with onions. I'm going to get it all cooked, rinse it under hot water, and bring it back because uh, I don't like all the fat that it has. And then I'm boiling the potatoes in the back, and I'll be making mashed potatoes and show you that soon. Okay, so I drained the hamburger under hot water like I said I was going to do. And in the meantime, I also made the mashed potatoes by adding milk and butter. So the next thing we're going to do is add the gravy in. So I have two cans of beef gravy that I'm going to add in here. And I'm going to put it on um, the front to keep like get it simmering. Go. One more. I want to get this to a, a simmer before I add the next ingredients. Because this is too cold, so we're going to heat it up. Okay, it's got to bubble up a little bit because what I'm adding next is carrots, mushrooms, and peas and they're already pre-cooked out of a can so I don't want them to overcook because they're also going to go in the oven after. So I'm going to get this cooking up until it simmers and I'll show you what I did. This is a key can of peas I put and I have some jarred carrots that I made up and then there's mushrooms here they're going to be added into that once this comes to a little bit of a boil then I will add all that in in the meantime I'm going to set the stove for 375 preheat it What I like about this is it's not a lot of dishes, really. I mean, I didn't have to put in the bowls. You just put everything in, drain the can, and add majority of it. All the recipe, the ingredients will be listed down in the show more section. So, it's looking good. It's starting to boil up a bit. You can see it. Okay. I'm going to add the peas. All right. This could be done in a bigger pan, but this is the only size of cast iron pan I have. And just a little note for you that uh, cast iron is really good to cook into because you get iron from it. So I like using it a lot. And I'm going to add. Just gotta be careful it doesn't overflow, but I got the carrots and the mushrooms. Now we just be careful. If you do it right, it doesn't over explode the pan. It works out really nicely actually. Okay. Just want to warm it up because it's going in the oven again. So I'm gonna shut this off. And I'm gonna rinse my spoon. potatoes on like this.
might boil over just a bit, but I'm going to put this under a, a baking sheet so in case it does boil over, that's okay. Just use, lose a little bit of the gravy and stuff. And there we go. A little more. Spread it around. Looks nice. Okay. Then I'm going to take paprika and I'm going to sp sprinkle paprika on it. Just a bit. So. It's a little heavy, but there we go. Yeah, that's plenty. Okay, this right now is going to go on a baking sheet. And I'm going to put it in the oven at 375 for about 20 to 30 minutes. Then I'm going to raise the temperature up to 475 just to make it golden brown. So that's about 10 to 15 minutes at 475. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please give it a like, share, subscribe, and thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.